Hey everybody, Brandon Costa coming to you from the SVG Summit. We are in New York City at our biggest event of the year, and we have the pleasure to be joined now by Jermaine Spradley. He's executive editor at Bleacher Report. Jermaine, thanks a lot for stopping by and joining us, man. Always really a appreciate pleasure. it. Always a pleasure. Always love coming to uh, SVG events. You guys always do a great job. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, as far as um, you know, Bleacher Report continues to grow and continues to be one of the hottest web commodities when it comes to sports coverage. So what was it? And when you look back at 2016, or 2017, geez, when we look back at 2017, what was a couple of highlights that maybe you and your team are particularly proud of that you were able to accomplish? Yeah, so we were really excited about most recently our show that we did with uh, Marshawn called No Script, okay. Marshawn Lynch. Sure. Uh, Marshawn Lynch is just a, a perfect, perfect uh, sports figure and sports personality for Bleacher Report. Uh, we thought his attitude and his spirit and his energy just aligned perfectly with the way we think about sports, which is obviously focusing on what happens on the field but also taking a really strong look and a, and a unique look one that really is geared toward millennials at how athletes are off of the field off of the court and we thought our our, our partnership with Facebook around the, the Marshawn Lynn show was a was a huge success for us so that's a big one uh, we love the NBA NBA is huge for us so we feel like we're constantly innovating on uh, our NBA finals coverage last year we did um, really cool stop-motion animation um, feature where we built these original dolls from scratch and with original uniforms and we used stop motion animation to put them in this huge battle royale against one another. Um, we thought it was really cool, very well received on our on our social networks and so we're just trying to keep that momentum going into 2018. That's very cool. I think a lot of what you guys have been preaching over the last few years is really resonating here at this show. We, we traditionally focus a lot on how is the game covered. Right. Um, yeah, it was even brought up on one of the sessions by one of our speakers today on how um, a player on his team, it was uh, Don Sperling from the Giants, Odell Beckham Jr. has 10, 11 million Instagram followers, sure. but only 10 to 15 percent of them who are followers of his account also follow the Giants. Right. So a lot of his followers are more interested in the culture, the lifestyle, and just kind of the personality that is him. I mean, sure. that's kind of like verbatim what you guys, how you guys kind of approach sports, right? It, it, it's absolutely how we approach sports, and we think it reflects uh, the way fans have changed their engagement with sports. I think mm -hmm. when Bleacher Report was founded, we thought really. Um, we were really thoughtful about figuring out ways to focus on teams, right? If you lived in Tampa Bay and you weren't getting enough coverage, you could start a site of your own on Bleach Report, sure. use our platform to talk about the teams that you love, whether those were big market teams or small market teams. Then I think as we, um, you know, as our company grew and our footprint became bigger, we started focusing on leagues, right? So we started focusing on like NBA and that really drove a lot of our brand awareness and the NFL, which drove a lot of our, our sponsorships and revenue. Um, and I think the next evolution of that is to reflect the way the fans engage with sports is to focus on people and personalities. So shows like our Marshawn, like, like our uh, No Script with Marshawn Lynch and a few other projects we are, are focus, focused on for 2018 are really geared toward highlighting the people and personalities like OBJ that sure. makes sports worthwhile. Okay, so uh, as an executive editor, you see all, oversee all kinds of media, all the different kinds of types and flavors of content that's created by Bleacher Report. In your mind, when is video the differentiator? When is video, I guess, worth that extra effort of busting out the cameras and the lights and the crews and those kinds of things? When is video better than a still or better than written word for you yeah. when you're thinking about how you want to tell a story? Yeah, so I think we, we take a platform specific approach to every single story we tell, right? Okay. So we think about what is, a, like any, any journalistic organization, Every single story starts with a question, a question you're trying to answer. So I think when we're brainstorming and coming up with the questions that we want to answer, uh, once we identify one, the first thing we think about, okay, is, okay, what is the best medium through which this story can be told? Um, and if it's a story that um, lends itself to visuals and feels like, you know, an experience, something that, that people need to see to, to really be able to appreciate, then we'll, then we'll go video. Sometimes the written word makes sense. We had a really great piece this year on, on Colin Kaepernick, it was written by a really phenomenal writer, Rembert Brown. That was one of our most viewed pieces of, of the year, most read pieces of the year. The engagement on it was tremendous, over seven minutes uh, time spent on, on page. So really strong piece, but that was about 10,000 words, right? Sure. So when it makes sense, we use words. When it makes sense, we use video. Okay. Um, I guess just broadly in your opinion, what are you looking forward to in 2018? Any technologies, storytelling opportunities, things that you guys might have down the pike? What are you looking forward to? Yeah, I think um, in 2017, Bleacher Report was really kind of reestablishing is, itself as a major brand and a major player in the um, sports culture space. I think 2018 is going to be, be about us owning the sports culture space.
All right, Jermaine, well, we really appreciate you coming by, sharing your expertise with it's our audience. You, Thanks man. for being always here. A, good to see you. Always a pleasure. All right. For more coverage from the SVG Summit, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org.